If there's a redhead in your life, you're probably not wondering if they're a witch, a vampire, or an alien. But beliefs about redheads historically weren't so accommodating. Legends and myths about people with red hair can be found in the ancient, and sometimes present, cultures of countries like Egypt, Germany, and Greece, among others. The real science behind red hair is a mutation of the gene known as melanocortin-1 receptor, or MC1R. Red hair is a recessive trait and the rarest of all hair colors, seen in fewer than 1% of people in the world. The uniqueness of redheads can build their mystery and allure. Famous redheads include beauties like Julianne Moore and Lucille Ball, as well as influential men like Ron Howard and Prince Harry. Clearly, any myth about redheads probably deserves a little scrutiny. Before you accuse your red-haired acquaintances of hellfire stealing or having no soul, take into consideration these outlandish myths about redheads from history. Redheads are human-alien hybrids, some conspiracy theorists believe redheads are actually the result of aliens breeding with humans, their evidence includes the existence of many red-haired kings and queens and a supposed alien race known as Lyrans which are said to have red hair, fair skin, and light-colored eyes. Redheads become vampires when they pass, despite the fact that Achilles, Helen of Troy, and Aphrodite were all said to have red hair, Greek mythology supports the belief that red-haired people turn into vampires after they pass, while none have surfaced as vampires, it is true that redheads need to take more care around the sun since the pigment pheomelanin found in red hair makes them more susceptible to melanoma. Red-haired people originated in Atlantis, red-haired mummies have been found in many different parts of the world, including Egypt and Peru. Some theorize redheads expanded across the globe after residents left Atlantis and carried on their traditions in Egypt, Turtle Island, and Easter Island. There is also a legend about Prince Aydin of Mu, supposedly the first redhead. It is said that his red hair was the result of seeing a sunset in Atlantis. Redheads were conceived during menstruation, redheads were thought by some to have been conceived during unclean sex, basically, having intercourse during that time of the month, this belief was primarily held by people back in the Middle Ages. But some unfortunate redheads still suffer taunts based on this connection. The ashes of redheads burned alive fertilized fields, in the early 20th century, Scottish anthropologist and folklorist James Fraser's book The Golden Bough stated that red-haired men in ancient Egypt were burned alive as sacrifices for the god Osiris. Their ashes were then scattered across the fields using winnowing fans, he suggests that Egyptians did this to fertilize their fields and to increase their harvest or possibly to make the corn turn red or golden as it grew. Red-headed women are witches, in medieval Christian Europe, red hair was often associated with witches and witchcraft. Between 1500 to 1660, it's believed that as many as 80,000 suspected witches were slain in Europe during a period of extreme witch hysteria. Redheads don't have souls, the legend that redheads don't have souls and can actually take other people's through eye contact was made even more well-known by South Park. There have also been rumors that red-haired people sold their souls to the devil to spread sin and serve the Dark Lord, redhead Mikey Kittrell became known as the Gingers Have Souls Kid and a YouTube sensation after recording an angry video message to fight these beliefs. Redheads bring good luck, some superstitious people believe that rubbing the head of a redhead will bring good luck because the hair color is so rare. In Poland, it said that if you spot three redheads at the same time, you will win the lottery. And, in ancient Rome, red-haired enslaved people were more expensive, partially due to the belief that they would bring their owner good fortune. Redheads are aggressive and hot-tempered, since red is often considered the color of passion, fire, and danger, it is sometimes used to associate red-haired people with tempers and sharp tongues. A Russian proverb states, 
there was never a saint with red hair. Satan is often depicted with red hair as a sign of moral degradation. Even the French view redheads as hot-tempered with the proverb, red-headed women are either violent or false, and usually are both. Redheads are more sexual, again, related to red being the color of passion and love, red hair was once thought to be the mark of moral degeneration and heightened sexual desire. Mary Magdalene is often depicted with red hair in paintings. Even in Michelangelo's Temptation, Eve is depicted with red hair after she is kicked out of the Garden of Eden for realizing she isn't wearing clothes. Redheads are on the endangered species list, frequently, rumors circle the internet that redheads are in danger of extinction. The Oxford Hair Foundation has been cited several times for creating these rumors, but was found to be funded by Procter Gamble, whose products include hair dye. There were also rumors that climate change will kill off all redheads due to the effect more sun would have on their genes, but this story was found to have been started by a company that traces ancestries online. Unraveling the myths and misconceptions about redheads has been an intriguing journey. We've explored 11 unfounded beliefs that have circulated for centuries, shedding light on the fascinating world of hair color stereotypes. From supposed fiery tempers to mystical powers, these myths have painted a vivid, albeit inaccurate, picture of those with red hair, however, as we've delved deeper, it becomes evident that these beliefs are products of historical anecdotes, cultural narratives, and perhaps a sprinkle of imagination. Redheads, like everyone else, are wonderfully diverse individuals with unique personalities, talents, and experiences. Let's embrace the beauty of diversity without falling prey to baseless assumptions, so, as we conclude this exploration, let's remember that behind every myth lies a reality waiting to be understood. It's time to bid adieu to these misconceptions and celebrate the vibrant tapestry of humanity in all its colors, shapes, and shades, thank you for joining us on this journey of debunking myths, and remember, it's not the color of the hair that defines a person, but the depth of character within. Until next time, stay curious and open-minded, feel free to tweak it to fit the tone and style you're aiming for.